we are now going to decompose repeated irreducible quadratic factors. And the big thing that we want to keep track of here is the fact that we need multiple, vari multiple unknowns, multiple A, B, C's, and D's to account for the quadratic factors, but we also have to remember that whenever we have a repeated factor, then we need to make sure we cover all of our bases. So we're going to start with the problem x squared plus 3x plus 1 over x squared plus 2 quantity squared. x squared plus 1 quantity squared, there we go. And so, this is our factor, and it's there's two of them. So we're going to get an x squared plus 1 squared, and we're going to get an x squared plus 1 by itself. On top, because it's a quadratic factor, we're going to end up with an ax plus b, two unknowns, and a cx plus d, which we follow our same step that we always have, where we take this and we multiply it by the denominator, so x, plus, x squared plus 1 squared. That gives me x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals, in this case I have everything, so all I'm going to be left with is the ax plus b, but in this case I'm going to need the cx plus d, and I'm going to be multiplying that by the x squared plus 1. Well, we're going to have to FOIL this out, so we still get x squared plus 3x plus 1. And that's the ax plus b doesn't change, but now we're going to get a cx cubed plus cx plus dx squared plus d. All right. Now that we know our terms, we come in here and notice we've got x cubes to worry about now. So we've got an extra variable to worry about. We've got an x cubed that we didn't have before. And so that's going to be a 0x cubed hiding right here. So we're going to get c, because that's our only x cubed, equals 0. Good news right off the bat. We don't need to worry about our c. For our x squared, we're going to get d equals 1. So I have a d. For my x's, I'm going to get ax and cx. So a plus c equals 3. And for our constants, I'm going to get b plus d equals 1. So, if c is 0, then I get a plus 0 equals 3, which is a equals 3. d is 1, so b plus 1 equals 1, so b equals 0. So here, I've got some zeros, it's, and it's okay to have zeros. I just need to come back in and make sure I take those into account when I write my answer. So I end up with ax plus b over x squared plus 1 squared plus cx plus d1 over x squared plus 1. And so if, if I use this as my partial fraction decomposition and I add it back together, I will get back my original rational expression.